it's a fact that we have people who have passed the retirement age and they are still in the system. We have, we have um, retirees who are on contract. Uh, they have overburdened the system with, with, with open vote employment. The low-lying fruits are on the ground. We still, when it comes to the public sector, um, we still see a lot of government vehicles on the road. Uh, government vehicles are uh, at some of these resorts during weekend. You see them pack up with river actions and they're going to the river with government assets. Um, you, 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 this afternoon when you go for lunch, you'll see, you'll see the government vehicle doing private business. Right at some point, and we would have expected by now, uh, they would have put a grip on, 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 on that specific wastage, right? And the, the continuous employment, we have said earlier that while there was a moratorium on hiring, which was supposed to have ended on the 31st of March, that didn't, that, man, this is why we are here the proposed budget estimates and you will see that 83 cents is not allocated to salaries it is 36 cents and based on the projected outturn for the last fiscal year it will be 51 cents we have to stop misleading the Belizean people for political mileage if you even look at the proposed 2021-2022 budget you will see that the, the, the allocation for personal monuments is under 50%. I haven't done an extensive review of the 2021-2022 budget, but I am calling on the government to stop, stop the lies and stop attacking the union as if we're the opposition.